hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel in case you are seeing my face for the first time my name is sophia yeah and for all of you my always returning subscribers thank you so much for always coming back and that's for my inconsistency you're always coming back anytime i post a video thank you thank you thank you thank you babies so today <clears throat> i'm going to be saying a story of my experience you know now i'm giving pregnant woman vibes so for my vlogs on this pregnancy journey i am going to very much as much as possible for whatever video i'm going to be doing inside the house i'm going to be wearing this crown because it gives me that queen vibe neoma vibe you understand queen mother vibe and all of those stuff put together so please first off if you've not subscribed to my channel kindly click on the subscription button and also on the post notification button just so you get notified whenever i post a new video oh my first trimester god guys they did not give me full menu on this whole pregnancy thing i was always saying oh i need and i'm hungry i am hungry the initial plan was getting pregnant after two years or after one whole year yeah that was the plan i had with my husband but uh after one month of marriage you get the whole when are you giving us baby that should be a story for another day yeah and all and i got pressured and i told zadi please give me food give me this food i need to be full and yeah we're not full <laughs> yeah so i'm pregnant now like so many months gone this is seven months two weeks into seven months yeah this is basically 20, 29 weeks yes so guys mm, the first trimester hey i see don't you know when you're i i i I was telling some of my friends and they'll be like i know right i'm like no you don't know you've not been here remember i was now you know don't tell me you know right it's not it's not no i just well i know one of my friends like no you don't know you don't understand like it's just like a new like your whole body is doing its own thing it doesn't want you to direct it or tell tell it what to do like and i i think i don't know I was fortunate enough that first trimester i was not really vomiting i just vomited maybe once or twice and it was based on i ate some things that made me so nauseous and i had to throw up but i was not like vomiting nah, nah, i was not doing all that but guys the level of weakness and anger hey nah the mood swing like every minute every minute i'm just my moods are just changing i just get irritated like little sometimes some people's um deodorant and perfume just pisses me off and i just get turned off and i just want to <clears throat> tear them apart like why would you use such deodorant hey <laughs> see i'm just laughing now but looking back it was not easy hey then it got to the point where i started craving food some people are lucky they don't have that craving but you see craving me and craving I'm sure people that have me on my WhatsApp, they'll be like, this girl eats too fucking much. Because every time I'm eating, I'm posting it. Guys, hey, they didn't give us full menu for this pregnancy thing. You people that have been there a lot of time, you didn't see. I was like, I crave for things that are not within my reach. And then that first time I start, I go to the office. I'll just stay out like, ah. Oh. I want to eat. I just, I just want to eat abacha, and I will need that abacha right then. And I will just take excuse, hop into my car. I'm driving and looking for every wherever I can get abacha in Jerry Potakot. I'm just going up and down looking. Where do, where can I get up? See, and guys, hey, you know the most funniest thing. If I don't get that abacha, who I saw a part of myself I never, I've never exp or I've never seen before. There was one day I then after the abacha, I, I think the next during that first trimester, I craved porridge jam. And my own was bad that whatsoever I cook, I cannot eat it. 
see no matter how good no matter how tasty how aesthetically pleasing the food is looking ah oh, i can't eat it like it just oh, like i cannot eat it so that period i just thank god for my husband he was cooking for himself if i don't feel yourself we're buying food because see i could not it's not like i don't want to or whatever but if i just the whole house you know where you're cooking and when i just slight smell of that food it's over for that day sometimes the whole day i'll just be angry i wouldn't even want to eat anything it was that bad see i'm not even exaggerating in fact i'm even i'm not even saying it the way it is like my colleagues in the office were like what so God blessed me with this colleague, our front text manager, like, when she knew, she was like, Sophie, you're always angry, this is not you. I'm like, please, just stay on your own. <laughs> like, so what the girl does is when she's coming to the office, she just buys food, God. She knows who was such an angel guy. Ah, she just buys, she knows that period, I don't want all this salad, I don't want jollof, I want all this local food, roasted yam, um, abacha, local Igbo, you know, local African salad. I want roasted yam, I, want, I just want any food that has palm oil in it. I, I loved okra, but okra that I did not make. In fact, I don't even want the okra to be too exquisite, I just want local. But I go just... So this girl always, <laughs> every time she comes, sometimes she cooks from my house, she brings for me. And... Here is some picture of me. I was always going to the booker. I'm sure that booker woman will know that ah, this girl is pregnant because I was only. And when I get to the booker, sometimes I just want to eat white rice and stew. But on getting to the booker, anything I first see somebody eating and the way they are eating, I'm like, Madam, give me what's in that man they chop. <laughs> and see, oh God. Ah, it was, see. I, I will say I, I will pass for an longer then and then when somebody is eating close to me in the office I'll be like oh give me give me but home training will just hold me back I'll, I'll just go and look for where to buy it guys it was not easy like first trimester in pregnancy is like crazy like really crazy then you can see I have um black head it was from that first trimester I started having pimples like Ooh, I started having pimples and when I mean pimple it's not the regular pimple you people are having I don't know the type of pimple you are and um, I'm not a acne prone person so I just usually prior to the first trimester I have pimples but only when I am ovulating or about say my period but now this time around I had like four pimples mm. and they were painful like those pimples they give me headache jesus they were painful so i know i was complaining one time i had to go to the nurse and i was like no this is not what i planned for she was like don't touch it i said eh? don't touch what Mba. beauty will come later but this thing I, see i have to be picking it that was why i left black heads but with time it's going to clear up that's not even part of my problem now trust me and that first trimester, guys, guys, hey, all the quack, it's not, it's not, I don't think I'm representing this whole, the whole situation, the way it was, guys, it was bad. And I, I think 31st night or so, I thought I was going to die. Why? I, I was, I was okay all through. I was already preparing that, okay, in the evening, of course, now. We'll go for a crossover. Me and my husband, we're just in the in the lounge watching the TV, having fun and all. Hmm. All of a sudden, headache from nowhere. Like I started having headache. Ah, ah. Hey, I said, which one is this one again? Like I started feeling somehow like I was feeling like I was seeing then it stopped. You know, it was as if I have malaria it stopped then continue so i was feeling better in the afternoon during the day then 10 30 p.m sharp then my husband has slept off then i slept off like so i think i slept early that day around eight or so i'll i'll, I'll post the video here and okay I, I slept early so around 10 30 i woke up my temperature i was shivering like literally shivering 
god it was bad guys i was shivering i had cold i had fever my temperature was high and i was sweating despite the cold i was feeling and my body was still hot you know then i just woke up my husband i don't know how i'm feeling and he was like okay just can you bear it? I was like, because see, I did fear hospital. Like, I'm scared of anything hospital. Like, since I was born, it's only during this pregnancy that I know that I've ever taken drip or gone to the hospital to lie down in that their bed. It was that first trimester. So, um, 11.30, bam. We know that. I just knew that I have to wake this man up and talk because it was as if I was drifting away from life already guys i couldn't move like literally i couldn't move i had to wake my husband i think around 12 a.m or so when some churches around were already doing um so because of that i had to just um stream um crossover nights online i couldn't move i couldn't go anywhere we couldn't now go to church so that's 12 or 11 30 there about went to the hospital that night we booked for card you know it was not time for antenata so i was not ready to in any hospital yet so we booked for car, did all that. The doctor was now like, I have chronic malaria. I ha Where is all this coming from? Is this the devil? So short story, long story short, we I got treated. And I think if you're pregnant, you should just be careful of what you eat. In my veg of eating up and down, I, I still that first trimester, I ate food poisoning. I got admitted again. Ah, it was really tiring. So I was just like, man it got to this point i'm like okay i don't think i'm if i even want this like the it was so stressful like about and the truth you know that first time i said i don't know if it happens to all of you please drop your your experience or whatever in the comment section let's just my own first trimester i could not use any cream on my body that has fragrance like i literally throw up i could not use any deodorant any whatever my go-to then was basically talc powder white powder like that was like my i just dab dab and i'm off to work i don't use any perfume i don't use any the only thing i used was the only thing i was using there was my black soap from that i make so african organics i sometimes i use a luxury soap because it doesn't have any strong you get there's no fragrance in it at all so that was what i was using throughout that period I was using it specifically with olive oil. Yes, that was the only thing I could bear on my body I, because I don't know anything on my body. So after that first trimester, the whole nauseous, always sleeping, always tired. Like once you just see me, you know that, oh, I think this girl, this lady is pregnant. <laughs> Guys, it was like a whole lot of stuff and over. To God be the glory, we've passed that stressful stage. And second trimester, I felt so good. My skin was getting so light, like, and I wasn't even using a lot. I'm going to do a video on what I, I was using second trimester. Because second trimester, I started eating my food. I started doing a lot of things I couldn't do during first trimester. My skin got back. I started popping yes i was using some of some of my products i'm going to do a skincare routine for my second trimester and ah oh, i got glowing i know a lot of people that i got pregnant with that so they're telling me they were almost the same week with me they got really dark and all guys it's not easy see it's not it's not it's not easy because everybody has their own experience they have what they feel and second trimester thereabout i was my libido grew from one <laughs> to one million i can't even see second second trimester i wanted to have sex like every fucking second i'm not exaggerating like and that period my husband was on he had outside work he was not around like i am going to order a vibrator because i i cannot like i could not second trimester guys i was always horny like literally like i was always wet i always had this oh i want it now oh so you know my husband was away then he came back that period and he was like uh, that night first round second round sorry 18 plus 
second round, I was like, third, fourth. And, and I noticed that I was not getting tired. See, trust me, I was not getting tired. Like, say, tiredness or any of that. It was far. It was far from me. It was not my thing. Guys, it was very, very far. I was always like, like, see, I could, then when I go to the office, I'll check my gown. Like, you could see how juicy I was. Hey! Whew. See, then I used to even sometimes, he would even pity. I would use to hey, when can I walk on come? This man should not come and die in my hand. After a long day of work, I will still come and give him my body work to, to do the work because, guys, they didn't give us manual for this day. Hey, this is second trimester. Even if you, some people say, oh, I don't like sex. For some people, though, I don't know. I've heard some people, but I think it's basically, they were telling me it's mostly during the third trimester. But you see that second. Ha! It got quite cool. You will, you will, oh, see, guy, it was like, man, never had, never experienced that before. Like, I was, I, like, you can't, you know, never to be caught on fresh. This one is never to be caught dry. Everywhere was two four seven dripping. The honey and milk was always flowing. It was all so uh, guys. Hey, I wonder how I hear a lot of we hear a lot of stories of people sleeping now. Like people that don't sleep with their wife during pregnancy. You are missing a lot because uh, down there it's always it's always <laughs> so but for me, I think you should enjoy the time while it lasts because of course she's not going to be pregnant forever. Especially as a country my study down there, so like, but mm, getting into third trimester now. I please don't touch me. No, I don't want it. Like my appetite is going. <laughs> no, please because sometimes carrying my stomach from one side to the other, I just I'm just just so tiring. Like guys, so that's like basically it for it. I think. For me pregnancy is quite an exciting journey it's you just see your body changing you just that first oh god first trimester oh you needed to see my breast was just grew like times three i i i've never been a person of big um, boobs like i've always been you'll classify me under the pecky boobs gang that even my hand could not cover it, it was just something as to my first trimester oh Otoro. It was like you know when you see a ripe orange. <laughs> Guys, it was so good. I was like, okay, I never knew this shit could grow. I know then when I post picture because I never posted a picture of myself pregnant. I didn't want anybody to know. They'll be like, oh, so where did you get the boobs from? I'll be like, it's God. It's, it's a lot doing, and it's just marvelous in my sight, and all of that. Okay. So that was basically it and yes so guys see you in my next video where i'll be ranting and giving you a lot of gist about our new my new bundle of joy or the seed that is growing inside me of course we're bringing a soul to earth so it is worth every experience it is worth every story and it is worth whatsoever stress my body goes or is going through right now. Yeah, there's no regrets. It's gratitude, gratitude, gratitude all the way. And yes, whoever and um, whoever of you, whichever of you is looking for a baby, I I hope that God blesses you. I I pray so much that you have your own experience to tell. It's a sweet experience. I have had people, I have had stories of people looking for child. I think I'm going to say my three months experience and how I was overwhelmed is not a it's not a sweet place to be. It is not something you want to even wish your enemy or whatever, but I just want to tell you that it's going to be over one day you carry your own pregnancy you're going to give birth to your own soul you're going to give birth to a soul you're going to give birth to your own baby i just want to tell you that you shouldn't worry about anything because 
god's timing is the best i was once overwhelmed even if it was not so long but that three months of not having a baby you know i was expecting that oh even though i planned you know now when we're dating when we're cutting we're like oh who oh, have fun and i'm like please what the fuck am i having those long phones for i need a baby and so just that few months that it was not coming it was a bit mentally emotionally draining then i can imagine so many people not giving birth one year two year three year after marriage some five twenty and all of that <sighs> but i just want to tell you not to give up not to give up hope i'm going to be coming through for you with my testimonies how i was able to that three months that seemed like um, three years that seemed like 30 years how i was able to cope because there were some nights where i just cried myself to sleep and all of that but that will be in so so much next video that we're going to be posting and all of that guys thank you for watching to this point i know i've blabbed a lot hey now what but trust me to me it's worth it but i hope you enjoy it and i hope if you are in your first trimester you prepare your mind and cutting your belts don't worry strength is made available to you and yeah so yeah see you in the i'll just stop here there's a part two to this video it was quite long so i had to cut it but the next video will be the part two so see you in the part two of this video don't forget to click on the subscription button and the post notification button okay i might be dropping a lot now <laughs> i don't know yet everything depends on the strength and the energy to go over but yeah i'll see you in my next video ciao ciao bye kiss 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 kiss